in today's class we are going to see subtraction the heading is subtraction with zeros and ones so first subheading subtraction with zero so let's start the class the first one is this is number is 800 the next number is 354 so uh, this is a three digit number this is also three digit number but subtraction with zero this is the heading so hundred tens and ones so okay so we are going to subtract with zeros so first i've told you already you have to concentrate only with what first you have to concentrate and otherwise you are focused with zeros so now i'm going to subtract only the zeros okay so the number is this is zero that is it's called as ones okay ones this is zero and four okay you can't subtract with what it is a normal what subtraction i'm not doing the regrouping method i'm just doing only the what normal subtraction okay now let's start so zero minus four okay it is not enough to subtract it's not enough to subtract subtract uh, zero uh, from zero to four so we have we have to what we have to borrow from tens but here also zero so what we are going to do we have to borrow from hundreds okay so we have to borrow from one hundreds so this eight hundred becomes seven hundred so i have taken one okay one hundred mean ten ones so i am going to take only one ten from here so this zero becomes ten okay now i am going to borrow from tens okay so now how many ten is here ten tens so i have to borrow only one ten from here that is this zero become water ten that means one that means what is this i i'm just borrowing only one ten that means this is called as ten ones okay this is one ten means you know that how many ten ones and one hundred means that means you know that ten tens okay so I again i'll repeat so the first okay first i'm concentrate only the zero so i'm focusing with zero so zero minus four you can't subtract there is because zero once it is not enough to subtract so i'm going to borrow from 10 it is here also zero so you can't what subtract so you have to borrow from hundreds so i'm just borrowing from only 100 from this place so this 800 becomes 700 i'm just borrowing only one that means 100 means 10 tens i'm just taking on how many tens only one tens so now this zero become tens okay that means 10 tens means that is 100 i'm just borrowing only what is this one ten that is this zero become tens and after that i'm borrowing only one okay from this from this i'm borrowing one ten that is what one ten means what is this what is this ten ones okay again i'll repeat zero minus four is not practically possible to subtract here so i'm going to borrow from tens so here also zero so you can't subtract you have to borrow from hundreds so i'm borrowing from only one from this place that means one eight hundred becomes what seven hundred so i'm just borrowing only 100 from this particular place so uh, now this tens place zero becomes what 10 that is 10 tens 10 tens means you can get 100 so what i'm going to do this particular uh, tens place i'm just borrowing only 110 so this what once place zero become tens that means 10 ones equal to what 110 so now i'm going to subtract because uh, one's place number is greater than 4 so now this 0 become 10 so compared to 10 and 4 10 is a greater number you know that basically so you you have to bo always borrow from greater number to smaller number so 10 minus 4 uh, general you know that generally what you're going to do you have to do the backward counting you start with 4 so after 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 so how many numbers 6 numbers i have to write 6 so now that is what is the number here? this zero become 10 so i have to what started doing i have to start doing the backward counting again so after five i have to say six seven eight nine and ten so how many fingers five fingers so i have to write five here so now zero that is that means ones is over and tens is over now 
I am going to subtract the hundreds. So how many hundreds here? Seven hundreds. So seven minus three. So again you have to start doing the backward counting after three, four, five, six, seven. So what is the number? Four. So you have to write four. The answer is four hundred and fifty-six. This is the right answer. First I am concentrate only the ones place. Then I am concentrating the tens place. Then finally I have concentrate. I am what I I am doing the subtract. Sorry, I have done the subtraction with hundred place. So the answer is four hundred and fifty six. This is the right answer for the question. Uh, sorry, uh, I just want to tell you, uh, not five year. So uh, I have to borrow one ten. So that means this ten becomes nine. So nine minus five, you can get four. See. Uh, of the ones place first you have to concentrate so this zero become because you have to borrow from what yeah 10 10 tens here so you have to borrow only one ten from this particular place so this zero become what that is 10 ones is equal to 110 so this zero become 10 so 10 minus 4 backward counting you have to do so 10 minus 4 you can get 6 so you have to borrow from 110 so this 10 10 become what this 10 become 9 tens how many this 10 10 is here so i have to borrow only 110 from 110 from here so I, if i take only 110 this 10 become 9 tens so 9 minus 5 you can get what 4 and you know after that you have to do the backward counting that is 6 7 8 9 so 4 is the answer so as it is 7 minus 3 you can get 4 the answer is 446 this is the right answer for that question so maybe it is difficult for you you have to one more the shortcut method i'll tell you how to do the shortcut see the first number is 800 so you have to 800 means what you're going to do that is 800 you have to subtract with 1 you can get 799 okay next is 354 again you have to subtract with 1 so 304 minus 1 what you will get 353 so 800 minus 1 you can get 799 354 minus 1 353 so you have to subtract it's very easy 9 minus 3 again you have to do the backward counting that is after 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so 6 is coming here you have to write 6 so 9 minus 5 you can get after 5 6 7 8 9 so 4 is the answer so 7 minus 3 what are you going to do after 3 4 5 6 7 again 446 so you can get this both answers are correct I think so you understand the concept subtraction with zero so don't forget this is very important a lot of the sums is given like this so I don't want to repeat again you just go through the videos once again so don't forget this is zero ones place zero and tens place zero mean you have to borrow from 100 if I borrow from only 100 this 8 becomes 700 so this 10 this tens place what is the number zero this zero become tens that means 10 tens is equal to 100 so this 0 become 10 again i have to borrow from what i have to borrow from 110 so this ones place 0 become 10 this 10 becomes tens place 10 becomes what 9 okay so again you have to subtract from 10 to 4 from 10 to 4 you have to subtract you can get 6 9 from 9 to 5 you can get 4 and this 7 minus 3 you can get 4 the answer is 446 the shortcut i've told you already so 800 means you have to subtract with one you can get 799 354 minus one you can get 353 then normal subtraction you if you do means you can get this answer 446 this is the right answer for the question now we are going to do the subtraction with ones so look at this how we are going to do this so this is hundred sorry this is ones and tens and hundreds first you have to write the place value then you have to write the numbers six one two six hundred and twelve two six seven two hundred and sixty seven okay anyhow this is what first we have to concentrate only the what ones so i just drop it because Okay. Okay. Now look at this zero. So that means sorry, zero. zero that is zero means so you should not say zero. This one's place. Okay, one's 
and tens and hundred. So six hundred and twelve and two hundred and sixty-seven. First, we have to subtract. You have to start. Uh, sorry, you have to st uh, start subtracting with ones. So ones, please. What is the number? Two and seven. So two and seven is not practically possible to uh, subtract. But this two is not enough to subtract because two is a smaller number and seven is a greater number. So what you are going to do? You have to subtract from. You have to borrow from tens. So this one. So this from this one, I have to subtract one. So. So from this one, I have to subtract one ten. So what I'm going to do? This two becomes what? I have to borrow one ten because already one ten is here. So I have to borrow from from one ten to one ten. You can get what? This one becomes zero, and this two become what? Twelve because one ten is equal to how many ones? I've told you ten ones. So so. So I have to borrow from only one ten. Already is one is here. So if I borrow only one from from one ten to one ten, so what will get? You can get what zero. That means one minus one. You can get zero. So that is what from one ten to one ten. This one becomes zero. So this two ones will become twelve ones because ten ones equal to one ten. So I borrow only from this. I borrow only one ten. So ten plus two twelve. Now. This two becomes twelve, so this twelve is a greater number. Now it is eligible to subtract. Okay, now but this is what this is what you now the tens place number is what zero. So what I'm going to do first, I have to concentrate only the ones. So twelve minus seven. So what you're going to do? So you have to start counting after seven. That is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the answer is five. Next, what I'm going to do this. So the number is zero minus six. Zero is not enough to subtract. So I have to borrow from hundred place. I have to borrow from one hundred. So this six become five hundred, and this what zero become ten, because that is one hundred is equal to ten tens. So ten minus six. So what you are going to do? That is after six you have to start counting seven, eight, nine, ten. So the number is what four. Okay. Now the number is five. So the hand how many? Now I am going to subtract. With hundred place value, what is the number in the top five? This is a greater number, and two is a lesser number. So five minus two. Again, you have to do the backward counting. So after two, three, four, five. So the answer is three. So this is the right answer for the question. That is three hundred and forty-five. So if you want to, if you want to, what verify the answer whether this answer is right or wrong. So you have to do the adding method. That is three hundred and forty-five is the answer. The second number, what is you have to take only the second number. You have to take only the second number. What is the number? Two hundred and sixty-seven. So you have to add together. You can get this question. That is what six hundred and ten. This is the question. If you get this question, your answer is right. So five plus seven. So five in the mind, seven in the finger. After five, what is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven and twelve. So you have to put two here and one is go to the top. This is what? This is ones and this is tens. This is tens place and this is a hundred place. Okay. So four plus one five and five plus six. So five plus six means five in the mind, six in the finger. After five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So you have to put one. So the again carry over is go to the hundred place. So three plus one four, four plus two, four in the mind, two in the finger. After four, five and six. So six hundred and twelve. You can get this. So you can get the right answer. Okay. This is what I think. So you understand the subtraction with zeros and ones very clearly. Go through the videos once and twice. It is you can understand. more easily